Hello everybody, um, a long time no see. Um, so I know it's been like probably six months since I posted a video last, but I'm back again today and I am finally doing a photo card collection video. So I've been wanting to do this pretty much since I started making videos. Um, I've always liked watching videos of people showing their collections and that's you know part of why i wanted to start making videos was to show mine even if nobody watches it just for fun for me um anyways so yeah i'm going to show i actually have five binders total not all of them fit here right now but i'm going to show them all um and let's see so i have a girl group binder boy group binder that's pretty sad right now honestly um, and then I have a separate binder for Twice, Blackpink, and BTS. So I'm going to start with the boy group binder, I think, and then move into girl groups, then Twice, then Blackpink and BTS last, just because I know that some people may not care about um, BTS or Blackpink. So, uh, you know, I'll leave timestamps and stuff as well, so you can just watch the parts of the video that you want to. So. Anyways, um, I'll just get started since it's probably going to be long enough and I'm sure I will ramble about a lot of things. So we're going to start with my boy group binder. All right, so here is my boy group binder. So I actually collect the least amount of boy groups out of anything basically, which is kind of surprising. I think when I first started collecting, I would have definitely predicted that I would collect more boy groups, but there's definitely, I definitely want to start collecting at least one or two more groups I want to add just to kind of like even it out. There just haven't been that many that I feel compelled to collect. And I actually do wanna start collecting like one or two more groups. So um, if you have suggestions for who I should collect, I the thing is I want to, I feel like I already collect enough cards and groups that are like kind of hard to get and I want it to be like a relatively easy process. So, you know, albums that are still in print, you know, if I pick a specific member, not members that get super overpriced or anything. So. Um, yeah, and it's not a matter of like not listening to the groups. There's a lot of groups that I listen to that I would collect, but I don't know. But yeah, anyways, um, so the first group that I have in my boy group binder is Wavy. So over here, I just have a little treasure freebie that I got, I think from a trade. Yeah, so for Wavy, for most groups I collect, at least as of right now, I just keep the cards that I pull. But I do want to, part of why I'm making this video is because I have some goals that I've kind of recently realized for my collection and one of them is to just make things more cohesive and start kind of collecting specific members just because I think aesthetically like it looks cool to just have like all of one member stuff um even if I love them all you know so anyways um for wavy right now I just have been keeping what I pull so I have um a card at least from all of their releases so far I guess so um first I just have all the circle cards um which are cool. Um, and then, yeah, I guess just going through their albums, these are the cards I have. I won't describe all of them specifically because we'd be here forever, but um, love the backs of their cards. I, I've said this a million times, but I love cards that have like handwriting on the back or that they sign or something. I just think that looks really cool from the back, you know? Um, so yeah, so then these, these are the rest of the album and Kino cards that I have and then this is from their Bad Alive photo book, I think. This is from a, what is this, what was this thing called? Yeah, that merch thing. <laughs> um, and then this card is from a fan cafe event thing that I went to. Um, and then moving on, I have the postcards from um, Kickback. And, oh, one, that one's from the Take Over the Moon, I guess, but yeah, and then the next group I have in here is Super M. So again, Super M, I've just been keeping what I pull. I do kind of want to try and collect all of them, but um, yeah, it's, you know, I guess just been slow and not on the top of my list priority-wise. But yeah, so these are the cards that I have from their first album from the um, US version, at least. Um, I like never pull Taeyong for anything, so don't have any of his cards for this one yet. Um, I don't have any vacuum for this either, but yeah. Um, and then next is Super One, and I think I have all the cards for this. I might be missing a group card, but this album I actually did pretty well with, so that's those. And then I have this page, which um, 
obviously the top is super m and then i just put my two nct 2020 cards down here for now um fortunately i pulled two wavy members because like i said i do collect wavy so pulled those in that so that was pretty cool so i need to just reorganize this to figure out where i want to put those that makes more sense um next i have Taman's solo cards these are just blank papers for a while i was putting blank papers in the blank spots and then i stopped doing it so please ignore all of the disorganization. I'm going to be fixing everything very soon, which is part of why, like I said, I'm making this video to kind of document a starting point, if you will. Anyways, um, yeah, that's, that was actually like a Super M merch card and then um, cards from his solo stuff. Um, I have not purchased advice yet, even though that is easily my favorite release of his so far. So I need to buy that. Maybe I'll even go today to buy that because I've been meaning to, so anyways. Um, and then I just have the bigger items from the Super One album here. I love these. These are so cute, these postcards. Um, and then, again, I have an NCT 2020 postcard back here. And then the rest of the stuff from Taman's solo albums. And then we get into treasure. And so for treasure, I debated for a very long time on who I wanted to collect. And I eventually decided on Mashiho and Jihoon. And I've changed my mind again. And I think I'm only going to collect Jihoon just because it is taking me forever. I just have not been prioritizing trying to trade for them and collect their cards. So if I try and do two members, it's just never going to happen. So um, as you can tell, at one point, I kind of had my act together and was organizing the layout of how I wanted everything when I got it but um yeah so anyways so this next section is super super sad so I apologize in advance but um here's what I have so far <laughs> for Mashiho and then I will uh now it's obviously getting more rough but that's what I had for him and then moving into Jihoon um, again, very sad. Hopefully I'll be able to make some progress on this soon, especially if I, you know, um, put my Mashiho cards in my trading pile, I guess. So yeah, it is roughly organized by, you know, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, <laughs> um, and then the full length. And that's from their little, um, they did their like line friends collab and I got like a plush thing. So I just put that there, I guess. Um, yeah, and then postcards. This was a pre-order benefit. Um, Mashiho, which again, I will probably try and trade or keep if I don't need to trade them. Jihoon and the al full album stuff. And then the very last group that I have in this binder is GOT7. And again, I don't really collect GOT7, um, but I've bought a couple of their albums, so I've just kept what I have pulled for that. And I think they're really cute nonetheless so that's from a fan cafe thing um and then just the bigger items from the got seven albums that i have and that's it the last this is just some random freebies and random stuff in the treasure album so that is my boy group binder like i said it's pretty sad um compared to the rest of my binders um so i really you know i have big plans for this i want to potentially like pick a member of wavy to collect and you know put in effort on that definitely need to make progress with treasure and i definitely want to add another group or two to this binder so yeah um we'll see what i end up doing for that but that is my first binder okay so moving on to my second binder this is my girl group binder so this has all of my girl groups besides twice and black pink which have their own binders um, and this binder is in much better shape than the boy group binder. I just, for some reason, again, I collect a lot more girl groups, which is kind of surprising to me. But anyways, um, yeah, so we'll start with this binder. Um, another thing I want to do, like when I, you know, kind of do my collection revamp that I'm planning is I want to make some cute like covers and dividers for all my binders. But for now, I don't have any of those. So Yes, anyways, um, so the first group that I have in here, as you can see, is Itzy, and I do collect regions cards, and um, then, you know, I have some cards that I've kept, you know, from the other polls that I've had, so I do not have all of her cards. I have, I think this is everything for um, It's Icy, and I have her 
that was like the dollar dollar era card there was a pre-order for this i think anyways um and then for it's me i am do not have very many cards i think those are the only three i have yeah so um still working on this collection but i'm doing pretty good with it um so yeah i just need a couple more for it's me a couple more for not shy i think i just need one more for um guess who which is exciting so yep love her cards these are my region non-album cards so this was from the guess who limited edition um this was like a light stick or light ring pre-order benefit light ring bag pre-order or light ring bag card i guess um this was another pre-order card i think this is from their like merch um they're doing those like every month stationary kit type things that's from one of those i think it's a really cute card um that's from the midzy kit so yes and then and i'm not trying to collect like all of her you know extra cards obviously just you know when i can get them i will get them um and then these are the rest of my etsy cards so again these are just all of the other cards that i've pulled that i've kept um and i do actually have like a stack of cards that i've um listed for trade or been trying to trade that are mostly actually duplicates of these. That's why I've kept one of them because, um, you know, I'm probably not even gonna be able to trade the ones that I have. So yeah, anyways, um, eventually I may trade these or I don't mind keeping them because again, I love all of the members, just, you know. Those are those. Um, yeah, second page. I do wanna get all of these like message cards. I still don't even have regions for this though. So yeah, um, and then yeah, again, just, other merch cards that I have from them and the Mitzi cards which are cute but a really weird size <laughs> and then I have the postcards pre-order postcards from it's IC and I do actually like own both sets but I only keep one of them in here for each album just to save try and save space in my binder um I might be um that was back when I had at one point I had black pink in a binder with the rest of my girl groups and it was like so thick that I had to split it out so now that um there's more space in this binder maybe I could add the other ones but anyways um yeah just all the pre-order postcards and some of the tattoos okay and the next group I have in here is idol or g idol however you want to say it um so this is their most recent album I burn and this is another I've always just kind of kept all of the cards that I've pulled because I love all of the members. Um, but I do think I want to start collecting Shua's cards. I might collect Soyeon too, um, just because I am going to collect her solo. So I might, you know, keep the Soyeons that I have and, you know, just collect Shua additionally. But we'll see. Anyways, for now, this is what I have. It's going to be some effort for sure to find trades for all of these I think but yeah this is what I have um so that's all the album cards this was the target exclusive one and I'm happy I pulled Shua for that so yep and then these are the this was like a those like sets that came in random first press copies and then um the K-Town for you pre-order ones that I got and we have Dum Dee Dum Dee album cards and pre-order cards that I pulled um, then we have I Trust and I Am. Yeah, I think those are from I Am. And then um, this was the from their online fan meeting last year, the merch cards. I think that's what those are from. Um, and then this was from their online concert last year, a merch card. And then this was a pre-order benefit from the fan meeting merch, I think. Then I have two cards from their Japanese release of Oh My God. So it's just a random paper. <laughs> um, and then I have some of the bigger stuff from, so I think, again, this was these were from I Am, if I'm right. And then I made, these are the bigger photo cards that do not fit in the normal nine pockets. And then I have these stickers from I Burn. These are so cute. I love when they do stuff like this. Like the members get to Put something in there i don't know it's cute postcards from iburn and then just some extra random stuff so um i think again this was a pre-order thing from their fan meeting merch this is from their neverland like membership kit i think and then 
these were like um, tickets that they like you they emailed you and you could print out for their two online concerts they did last year. And then I have the ticket things from Dumdy Dumdy. Um, these were part of their online concert merch last year. They're like really pretty, not holographic, but like, I don't know, shiny ticket things. They're really cute. And then moving on, the next group I have in here is Stacy. So originally I decided that I was going to collect Suman and Jay, but again, I think after, you know, not, still not having just those two complete for their first two releases, I think I'm just gonna drop down and only collect Jay. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I still have some cards to get, obviously. I only have two of the four of hers. So yeah, these two were pre-order benefits from my local K-pop store. Um, then the rest are, let's see, So Bad and ASAP. So yes, I love them, I love those cards. These are the other like little album inclusions that I pulled. Okay, and the next is Secret Number. Secret Number, I initially wanted to collect OT5, but it I pulled like literally like six of this card, I think. So um, I just do not pull a very wide variety of their cards and their albums. So um, I don't know, I really wanna collect Ginny, but I like ne I've pulled one card of hers ever. So I think it's going to be probably difficult to transition to collecting her, but We'll see, um, and if if you're watching this and you actively trade photo cards and you want to trade with me, if you have cards here that you want and you have something that I want, um, follow me on Instagram and we can definitely trade, help each other out with our collections. Um, but yeah, so anyways, secret number, who dis, and then these are some My Music Taste cards. And then this is from Got That Boom. That's the only Ginny card that I've pulled, but all of these cards are beautiful. Like I just love how these look, like how pretty. So yeah, anyways, that's those. And then these are the profile cards from Hootis. I'm missing one of them. Am I missing, um, I'm missing Leia's I think, yeah. And then the other inclusions from Got That Boom. I think I have almost all this stuff as well. And then the, I think this is the last group. Yeah, the, well, kind of second to last group in here is CLC and don't really collect them um, besides just the, the pulls from things. So yeah, these are the cards that I have. Um, won't talk too much about CLC because they are probably done for, honestly. That's what it seems like. It's very unfortunate. They're so talented. I love their music and they have been totally screwed. So <laughs> Anyways, this is just what I have for a CLC. Yep. And then the very last stuff I have in here is just from Red Velvet, Irene and Solgi's Monster release. I don't collect Red Velvet or anything, but um, I did buy this album. I bought a couple Red Velvet albums, but this album I really liked and I bought and I decided to keep the, my pulls from it. So those are the cards that I have for that and the postcard things. So that is it for my girl group binder. So this is one of my thicker binders. The first two binders I showed I think are the one and a half inch. This one's a two inch binder. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of toy stuff. Yeah, so I'll just get right into it. Um, so over here I have the stickers from Eyes Wide Open. And then starting out we have Taste of Love. So I am obsessed with these cards. Like I can't even tell you. Um, so I am for twice. I have been basically just keeping the cards that I pull, but I've always kind of wanted to collect Diane's cards. And so when I pull her, I keep her, obviously I don't really ever trade her cards away. And I have tried to kind of trade for her. Like I, I don't know, like I've, I've put a little bit of effort in, but largely I've just kept what I pulled for twice. So, um, that and then starting with Eyes Wide Open, I decided that I wanted to collect like, you know, a couple of OT9 sets for every release. So that's what I've been doing. I'll just get into it. So this is one of the sets I decided to collect for Taste of Love. And um, yeah, I love this one. I'm just missing a couple. I actually have, I think, I think I have two of these on the way in trades. So that's exciting. 
and again obsessed with the backs of these cards um and then this is the other set i decided to collect so i'm just missing two of them and then these are the other cards that i have so again um Diane, and i also kind of want to collect Young. like i think i'm going to again keep the Young cards that i pull in case i decide i want to add her in the future but um yeah so these are just my Diane and Young cards and some pre-order benefits and the lenticulars and then moving on to eyes wide open this is one of the ot9 sets i wanted to collect and oh my gosh this set is like <laughs> i think literally every single person that bought the album is trying to collect this set because it is hard to find these cards and it's been literally impossible to find this dying card so if you have this card and you want to trade me please let me know <laughs> um and then this set with the red background is the another set that i want to collect from them um i think i have one more of these on the way actually too and then this set in kind of like the yellow um i think it was like a train station or something these outfits um i want to collect this set as well and then again i just have some other diane cards Cheyenne cards and i absolutely have to keep that card with momo and boo because it is so cute <laughs> moving on to more and more um so this at this time in this era i was only again just keeping all the cards that i pulled but i recently decided that i do want to try and get at least one ot9 set for more and more so i do want to try for these signature cards i think this is probably one of the more popular sets so we'll see how possible that is but ignore that unit card um it's just there for now <laughs> so yeah and then here's the rest of my more and more cards so again i have these kind of separated out because i know i'm going to keep them and then just the rest of my pulls for that so all of these again because i do from more and more backwards i do just want to collect dayun basically so all of these cards will eventually be up for trade so if you have dayun cards from any of these eras and you want any of these definitely let me know i will be posting them sometime soon it's going to take a while probably but yeah anyways then we have feel special again these were just pretty much my pulls i have traded a couple like i've when i've seen stuff for that when i've seen trades that i can do i've done them but mostly just yeah these are all the cards that i've pulled then we have fancy you and yes or yes Um, this is a year of the S. So it's kind of out of order. Some of these now going backwards are out of order just because I've kind of put them where they fit. So yeah, Summer Nights. Random blank spot. There's a random What is Love card out of place. <laughs> what is Love? Um, and then we have, uh, what is this called? Merry and Happy. Yes. Merry and Happy and Twice to Graham. And signal. And then what is this? Twice coaster, lane two. Yeah, twice coaster, lane two, and lane one. Page two, is that what that's called? Yes, page two. And um, their first album, The Story Begins. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So that's it for the album cards. So again, this is hopefully going to look very different in you know, my next, the next time I make a video about my collection. <laughs> um, so then I have the photo cards from the Twice Lights DVD. These are so cute. I love that set. Next, I have merch cards from their World in a Day online concert. These are super cute too. Love those. Then I have some Japanese cards and Diane's Lightstick card and two cards from to use photo book. Um, this page is random, so there's a random feel special card that didn't fit earlier. What is love cards, and then these two cards from uh, More and More and Eyes Wide Open. Um, then I have the bigger inclusions from Taste of Love, so Diane's Coaster and Bookmark, um, and I'll put Che Young's there. I think I have her coaster coming in a trade already. Tasting cards, again, I'll put Cheyenne's there. Eyes Wide Open, the message cards, I think that's what these are called. Um, I loved these, so I collected all nine of them. The only unfortunate thing is that um, I really like how they look in these four pocket pages, but that means that Tsui has to be alone on the back. So I'm probably going to, I recently got these like long skinny um, six pocket pages, so I might redo that. 
with these if they fit just so at least at least it'll be six and nine and she won't be by herself back there so yeah coasters for more and more fancy you lenticulars um don't have dyings yet if you want jihyo or tui and you have dying let me know <laughs> summer nights postcard things um this is from was this from page two i don't even remember other postcards super cute the knock knock thingy standy yes or yes film strip things more world in a day merch stuff i mean look at them like come on <sighs> And then the rest of what's in here is just pre-order pre cards, basically. I have a uh, Taste of Love. I love these pre-order card sets. Like, they just look so nice. I used to keep the pre-order sets in, like, with each respective album. But, um, yeah, I decided to move them recently. But I do love these pre-order cards, like, a lot. So I have all of them for Taste of Love. All of them for Eyes Wide Open. And all of them for More and More. And then starting from here, I only have one um, for a couple. So I have a Feel Special set, a Fancy You set, and a Yes or Yes set. Random group pre-order cards. And then a couple more and just some other random freebies. So yeah, that is it for my Twice Binder. Another thing I was going to say is that I already mentioned, you know, my Instagram, but... For real, I'm looking for more people to trade with. So even if you just collect like a couple of the same groups as me and you think you might, you know, want to trade with me in the future, definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back. We can talk about photo cards and yeah. Okay, so moving on to my black pink binder. Um, so for black pink, I do, I guess I would say I collect OT4, but you'll see, you'll see the state of my collection um, in a second. So I just have some random freebies over here on the side. And then starting here, these are my newest cards. And I have, let's see, these four are from the, the show live CD. And this album has been super frustrating because I've bought, it's, it's expensive. I think it's like $35 is about the retail price for it. And I've bought, I think five copies, I wanna say. And in all except one, I've pulled the exact, these like exact two cards, um, which is very frustrating for an album that expensive. So I haven't posted them all for trade yet, but hopefully I can find trades because I do want to collect them all and it's a really expensive album. So uh, yeah, anyways, um, that's those. And then these are from the show DVD. I do have, I think there's four or five more, like five, another set of these. And I have one more copy of the DVD coming. So hopefully I get the other set in that copy but we will see um i love the backs of these really pretty up next i have rose's solo photo cards so for her album r i was so obsessed with this release it's amazing so and i love these cards too so i am missing three of them hopefully i can find those soon in trades that's been a slow process as well and then i have all of the pre-order benefit photo cards from r as well as the two pre-order benefit photo cards from her photo book. I don't know if there was more than just two, but I guess I'll have to look and see and maybe get those if I'm missing them. And then I have the postcards from her album. This was a pre-order benefit. And then the rest of the postcards I am missing, I think also three of these. So again, hopefully I will get those soon. And then I have the photo cards or Polaroid things from her photo book. These were just the ones that I pulled. There is no way I will be able to collect all these because that photo book is like, it retails for like something like $80 and there's like a ton of these cards. So yeah, there's absolutely no way I will collect all of those. But this one's like a real Polaroid, which is pretty cool. Um, or no, this one is a real Polaroid from pre-ordering it. So that's pretty sweet. But yeah, love those. Next up, I have all of the photo cards from the album, and this collection is complete for OT4, which is amazing. I didn't even really intend to do that. I just bought so many copies, and when I went to, you know, put them away and figure out which ones I didn't have and which ones I could trade for, I realized that I had pretty much exactly enough to trade for and get all the cards, so that was amazing. Um, so that's those, and then these are the two Target exclusive cards from that and pre-order cards. I don't have all of them, but yeah 
Then I have my How You Like That cards, and these were pre-order cards from my local K-pop store. So they're the same pictures as the K-Town For You cards, but the K-Town For You pre-order cards for this were like huge and like barely fit in a pocket. So I just have these ones there for now. But I do want to, you know, eventually try and collect all of these. But again, from it's going to be a slow process. <laughs> um, and then similarly, I have the cards. Again, these are just the ones that I've pulled. I do think eventually I want to get, you know, OT4 for all of this. Maybe I'll start with one number just to make it a little bit more doable at first. But yeah. Next, I have some of the pre-order cards, I think, from Lisa's photo book. And this is a random how you like that card that just fit there, but I just put it on put it on a Lisa page. These are the cards from their season's greetings this year, I think. Yep. And then the pre-order cards from the season's greetings. Um, this came with how you like that, and this is from a fan cafe thing that I went to. These are how you like that like merch cards, basically of light stick cards. These are the cards from their Summer Diary in Seoul last year. That's what it's called, I think. And some of these I have in clear sleeves because that's what I like to do with most of my cards so you can see the back. But some of these cards, like the color scheme for this um, DVD was green and pink. And I don't know what it is, but that combination, the green, like it just really like, I do not like that aesthetic. So I put the ones with the green backs in black sleeves so it wouldn't ruin the look in my binder. Um, yeah, love the cards, but for a while I didn't even put these cards in my binder because of the backs and I got the black sleeves. So yeah, anyways, um, these are merch from the show, as are these, and the backs were just white. So again, I put them in black sleeves, but these are like holographic, so really pretty. And then these are the album pre-order benefit cards. I want to move these up closer, so when I do some reorganizing, I probably will. And these are all random cards. These came with, I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's like a hair dye. Um, and yes, I did actually buy the hair dye. Don't know if I'm going to use it, but black pink is on the box. So I had to buy it, you know? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, these were the cards that came with that. And then these are other random freebies from a like fan event thing that I went to. Um, and then I have, um, these are the postcard things that came with Square Up. And then a random how you like that postcard that's an extra. The other how you like that postcards, initially again, I was just gonna collect the four of them, but I hopefully will be able to get the other full set at some point. These are the Polaroid things that I got with my copy of Summer Diary and Soul. I just kept the ones that I pulled again. Then I have all of the postcards from the album. this film strip thing from the album and then the K-Town For You pre-order ticket things. Next I have Jenny's solo stuff. So this is just, again, the two things that I've pulled in her solo album, the copies that I have. And then I have her other How You Like That postcard that I just put here again to kind of make a Jenny page. And then again, more postcards from her solo release. This page, I have these clear photo card or postcard things from Lisa's photo books. Um, I do need to put like paper behind these so you can see them better or something, but yeah. And then I just put these merch stickers there for now. Then I have, this is a merch postcard thing from the show and then the show merch pre-order ticket things. And then I have the other stuff from my, the show CD and DVDs. So this is the pre-order benefit stickers from the CD, these are stickers from the DVD, the other ones, these are the postcards that came with the DVD, and these card things that came with the DVD, and that is it. Some random other merch stuff, and the K-Town for you, how you like that pre-order cards back there that are too big to fit in anything, so that is my black pink binder. Okay, moving on to my final binder, and it is my BTS binder. It is by far my fullest binder, and um, I am definitely doing some revamping soon, kind of like I've mentioned. So anyways, for BTS, I do collect Jimin's photo cards and then, you know, keep basically what I pull, but I'm going to 
I'm gonna change some things soon and I'll explain, but anyways. So Jimin's collection is by far my most complete, cohesive, satisfying collection that I have. Probably the most expensive as well, so. <laughs> yeah, anyways, on my binder, I just have his postcard thing from Season's Greetings this year, this sticker from a fan cafe thing that I just went to like two weekends ago, and then his postcard mini poster thing, I guess, from Season's Greetings last year. So moving into it, I just have some random stuff there. And then I have all of his photo cards from Korean album releases. So yeah, this collection, I don't know, it's just super satisfying to me and I love him. So it's great. Um, yeah, not much to say. I'm sure you have probably seen BTS photo cards a million times. So I won't go into too much detail, but yep, I have them all. And then I guess the album cards end here for now. Um, I do kind of want to put this B essential selfie card on this page. I feel like that would look better, but then it's like technically out of order. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so this is where the album cards end. And then I have the Weavers pre-order card from B. These are all lucky draw cards, which are the bane of my existence and probably yours too. If you collect BTS and you've collected these lucky draw cards. Um, yeah, just outrageously overpriced. Um, I have bought, you know, copies of the album that came with these and had like a nearly impossible time trading. <laughs> it, these cards are a mess. I love them, but yeah. Um, I think this card though, this lucky draw card of his, this might be my favorite photo card that I own, like of all of these cards that I have showed. So yeah, anyways, lucky draw cards. And then I have a pay a page and a half or so of Japanese photo cards. I'm not really like intentionally trying to collect all of his Japanese cards just because some of them are super expensive and hard to find. So just, you know, the ones that I can reasonably get my hands on. More Japanese cards. This was a lucky draw. I have his other lucky draw coming. So that'll go there. Um, and these are from their newest Japanese release. These are the DVD photo cards I have. And again, I'm not necessarily trying to complete, like get all of the DVD and Blu-ray photo cards. That would be extremely expensive. And just, I, you know, care the most about the album cards. So yeah, these are just the ones I've been able to get. Um, and I do have his Memories of 2019 DVD card coming in a trade. I had pulled Tay's card and was finally able to find the trade for that. So that's exciting. Um, and then moving on, I have basically like merch cards. So. This is like a Fila card, Samsung. These are from the, I think it's called D Icon. Is that how you say it? The Icon magazine set thing. And then I have, these were from the eight year anniversary calendar thing. Um, the Map of the Soul one photo book. Love these cards. These are also some of my favorites. It's like the Map of the Soul ticket card that technically is kind of out of order, but yeah. This is just a random freebie, but it's a really cute card. So I put it there. Next, I have some bigger, well, the bigger items are next. So these are the Hybe Museum, like merch cards, the B pajama set photo card. Um, this is from their second mini album. I was about to say their first album, second mini. That's his photo card, um, season's greetings. I just put that there. I, I tried to keep their album stuff kind of together, but I should move this. Anyways, the rest of his album inclusions that are not photo card sized. Some seasons greet seasons greetings winter package photo things uh, bookmark from the London DVD um, his film strip from the winter package again I need to put something behind there so you can see it better and then other just random postcards basically I won't go into detail on all of them but basically just. The stuff that I've been able to get that I have put in here. Luster from this year, merch photo cards. These are super cute. I'm still missing like two of them, I think, or maybe just one, I don't know. I, I do not collect a lot of these bigger size photo cards because I absolutely hate them, like the size of them. Oh my gosh, I don't hate anything more in collecting than eight pocket pages. I don't know why. Um, so when they make these photo cards that like fit in the eight pocket pages or you have to put in like pages like this, I just, it drives me crazy. I hate them. 
Okay, and then these are merch from their online concert last year and just other postcards. These are other random bigger things that have not fit in normal size pages that I have. Yep, and then some of their Japanese um, sleeves that are member specific. Okay, and then for the rest of my BTS collection, I have the cards basically that I've pulled in albums. So I've bought you know a lot of copies of a lot of albums to try and complete my Jimin collection. So I have traded some away. I have sold some cards, but these are just the ones that I still have. And I think what I want to do now that my Jimin collection is like pretty solid, I think I want to start to collect Jungkook, but <laughs> it's going to be difficult because I feel like he's honestly my you know observation is that he's the most popular member to collect. I feel like every single time I look through the trading tags on Instagram, everybody is wanting to trade for his cards. So I think it's going to be kind of difficult, but I'm going to try. I think him and Tay are the two pop most popular members to collect, but I'm going to try. Um, I think it's just going to be a slow process. I'm not going to like, you know, stress out about it, but um, I think he's the member I want to collect next. So I will be trying to trade away all the rest of the cards I have and just keeping his... Um, for now, I might also do the same type of thing where I collect like a couple OT7 sets or something. But yeah, so that's my plan for BTS is obviously keeping my Jimin collection, but I'm going to collect JK next. So yeah, I've kind of, I've kind of kept, I've been trying to kind of keep some of the JK cards I have. I have traded some of his cards away, unfortunately, but obviously from now on, I'm going to keep the ones of his that I pull. So yeah. So I just have, these are just all the other cards that I've pulled. And then I do have, I got lucky with my Lucky Draw and Weverse pre-order benefit on those. So I've kept those in anticipation of starting his collection. Um, and then I have some extra Jimin cards again that I've pulled. So um, I will hopefully be able to trade those. And then this is the set from their season's greetings. Uh, yeah, some of them I keep, some of them I've kept Jimin's with the rest of them, but some of them I've put his in his section. So yeah, these are the rest of the calendar card things. Super cute. Photo book, these clear cards, which I honestly don't really like that much. And then <laughs> other random postcard things. So yeah, I don't need to go into detail. You can see where everything is from, but yeah. This is from their Map of the Soul like merch pop-up thing. This is the B Weavers pre-order benefits. Persona, little postcard things. Yep. And then from here on we're back into I guess I have like merch and album stuff out of order there. I'll fix that, but yeah, other merch stuff basically. These are the other D icon photo cards. Super cute. I had just bought like one set of these photo cards and these photo cards, so I just kept them. But like I said, I really hate these eight pocket pages. Like I just, I don't know why I hate things being sideways. I hate how like they don't really fit in there. Like just make the photo cards normal size. Like, ugh. Um, and then I have their light stick photo cards from the special edition one and the version three, is it? These are the rest of the B pajama photo cards because I did buy the pajamas. So I have all the cards. <laughs> And then I have JK's set from Muster. I'm still missing, I think, at least one of those. And I decided to keep um, trying to collect the Yoongi's full set for this too, so missing a couple. And then I'm also just trying to collect the group ones, missing a couple. <laughs> I have the rest of the Samsung Buds cards because I bought those as well, so I have the full set. These are the Baskin Robbins cards. Um, season's greetings postcards, winter package postcards. Um, what are these from? Were these from memories or I don't remember. I don't even remember what those are from. And then the last stuff in here is just freebies. So I do keep freebies when I get them, especially if they're cute. So <laughs> these are just all of my Jimin freebies that I've kept and yep, I love them. And some of these are from, like these are from fan cafe event things that I've gone to. So yeah, and that's pretty much it um, for my BTS binder. 
Okay, so that is it for my entire photo card collection. Um, I, like I said, I have kind of some plans for what I wanna do, you know, start to collect some more specific members, reorganize some things, make it look more cohesive. One thing I know is like a lot of people I see, like if they have a page like this where they're missing some cards, they'll put like blank things in here, you know? And I used to not like that, or I used to like, it really used to bother me when like there'd be, say there'd only be like four cards from an album and they would have those four cards and they would like just put those four in a page and then they put, you know, like the blank things there and that's just like the final status of the page. It used to bother me so much when like to see a page that wasn't like all nine slots were cards. I don't know why, um, but lately I've been kind of like wanting to do that, like separate it out so like each album is kind of on its own page. So I don't know. So I think I'm going to start putting in, you know, blanks where blanks can go and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I just wanna make it look more cohesive and put some more effort into collecting certain members and certain sets and stuff. So if you want to trade photo cards with me, please follow me on Instagram, I will follow you back. We can talk about photo cards, trade photo cards, and yeah, I will hopefully be doing another video like this, you know, in a little, in, you know, six months or something with my updated collection and I do plan to start doing more unboxing and haul videos soon. I just have been honestly impatient. That is why I have not been filming or posting videos lately is because I get new albums and I just immediately open them. I have not been able to save them to film. So that's why I haven't really posted anything, but I'm going to work on that. I actually currently have two of Soyon solo albums sitting like five feet away from me that I haven't opened. I bought them two days ago and I haven't opened them yet because I'm waiting for my K-Town For You copies to come. I'm going to film a video, so my self-control, honestly, working out so far, so hopefully that can stay that way and I will be able to film more videos, but yeah, um, I definitely want to do more photo card videos too, you know, this is my first kind of like dedicated photo card video, so anyways, um, I will stop rambling now. If you made it this far, thank you for watching, um, definitely subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!